we raised a record over four million dollars yeah. from eight thousand donors. We walked, we called, we sweat, we worked, we fought, and we lost. So it is time for an honest conversation. As Felicia said, you should certainly write to me, the Attorney General, and will certainly be serving in Arizona elected office someday, I'm sure of that. We were outspent by dark money four to one, notwithstanding the record of the fundraising. Four to one. The $12 million spent by Doug Ducey and his allies is unprecedented in an Arizona campaign. It assured our loss. And Terry Goddard and others have it exactly right. Undisclosed dark money has contaminated our democracy. It has eroded confidence in our election, in our government, and it has turned our elections into auctions. Yeah. And nothing more than fundraising as a corporate purchase order. Right on, man. It is wrong, and it must be stopped. indisputably the dominant reason for our loss. It's not the only one. And we cannot escape a discussion of other issues and all of our accountability. Why was our turnout a record low? Our team won Republican and independent crossover votes while remaining true to our uh, values of human rights and economic justice, equality, and of course for me above all, no more cuts to education. We remain true. But we didn't get the turnout we needed to win. We financed and we operationalized a huge voter contact effort that all of you were a part of. You were everywhere. You were working hard. Thousands of Arizonans engaging. Eight million dollars worth. It didn't turn out the vote we needed. We must review everything we do and how we do it. No sacred cows, no unproven assumptions. We may first have to break it to fix it. Let me be a bit painfully blunt. Too much of our donor base is fleeing, and too much of our base voters aren't voting. So the tired debate that many of us have had for decades, are we a party that caters to our donor base or to our grassroots, is irrelevant if we're doing neither well. So, be open to change. I'm asking, support leadership who will ask the hard questions and do the hard things, because if not now, when? Now is the time for hard questions, a vigorous examination of what we do and how we do it. And the answer is not necessarily doing more of what didn't work. The answer is adapting to what will work. I would submit that we must be unsparing in our examination of our strategies, on our organization, and our techniques. And we should be unyielding in the expression of our values. Some things we must do differently to win, and some things we must express whether we win or lose. We must change the way we operate to win, and we must stay true to what we know is right if we are to lead and be worthy of winning. So, it is clear from the last two weeks, from the day of the inaugural, we have a fight on our hands. And the stakes are huge. Our state needs us to reorganize and win. So let's get on with the hard work. Let's get on with the internal exam. Let's get on with the rebuilding. Let's ask the hard questions. Let's do the hard work. And let's express loud and clear the evident truths that face the state of Arizona. Truth. Their economic strategy is producing jobs that pay less than the jobs we lost in the recession. And this must stop. Evident truth. Opportunity is increasingly awarded in Arizona based upon luck and circumstances, not based upon talent and effort. 
This must stop. Our state has become, and evidently will remain, an Alec Petri dish against human rights, workers' rights, and women's rights. So join me. This must stop. The cuts to our schools, past and yes, even now, have resulted in teacher flight, inadequate support, larger class sizes, and schools that can't succeed. This must stop. The potential appeal of the court decision just handed down that awards dreamers their driver's license, the appeal would be mean-spirited, it would be economically stupid, and it will lose. This must stop. Our private prisons are incented to profit on the exploitation of human misery. This must stop. In Arizona, we make it easier to get a gun and harder to get women's health care and to get a ballot. This must stop. Friends, our state's leaders think we need a new civics test for students. I think we need a sanity test for our legislators. <laughs> say it, and I've heard you say it, it is still our job to take the crazy out of AZ. <laughs> One Sunday, a man in church prayed to his God and said, God, there's just so much wrong in the world. There's poverty, there's homelessness, there's hate. Send us someone who can help us to mend the pain. And in the silence of the church, a voice spoke, and God answered. God said, I did. I sent you. <laughs> so, friends, our state, our state of Arizona needs us. Arizona citizens need us. Building a state of inclusion and opportunity and success. Building a society and a state worthy of this beautiful place that we call home. Today, like every day in this magical place, the potential for a new day is on the horizon. May we each recommit ourselves to reaching for it.